pagoda capital of the world outside of Taiwan. Welcome to Garden Grove. I mean, go Grove. I've, I've seen this everywhere on social media, and it's like always like on TikTok. Definitely probably the best in Orange County. So now we're going to be driving through the most concentrated area of Garden Grove downtown and you guys are going to see how many boba shops there are in one block. In this plaza alone, there's four boba shops. But now we are headed to our first destination, Almond House. They're one of the highest rated boba shops in the area with 1,475 reviews at 4.3 stars. The aesthetic of the boba shop is very serene. It gives me like a Korean cafe, very cutesy vibe. Um, and the drinks look to be very delicious, more traditional. And we even have some taiyaki snacks to stand out. So they saw us filming and they were kind enough to let us go in the back and see the whole process. Let's go see how boba is made. So this is how we make our red bean in-house. So it's gonna take about 40 minutes. So how long does it take you to cook the boba? And do you just do it one time a day or like all throughout the day? All throughout the day. Some boba shops, they don't have owner coming out, but I like working with our staff mm -hmm. so that I get to learn them yeah. and that I get to learn the customers. So that's, oh, that's make so me, good. yeah. I wanna give the little babies or anybody who drinks it, mm -hmm. You know, like joy. Oh. It, you know, even though it's like five dollar, one dollar, two dollar, they're spending. You know. Yeah. I'm gonna be ordering two control drinks at every single location just to make sure we find the best of the best of each. So we have matcha milk tea, and then it looks like everyone that I want to go to has a peach black tea or their version of peach iced tea as well. So we have that. We always get one of their specialty drinks, the one that they're known for. In this case, it's the iced coffee with hazelnut. Hazelnut. And finally, just like another random drink of choice. This time I'm choosing Hokkaido milk tea because I feel like that's not one that I see on the menu often and I'm always curious what that is. I'm gonna show you guys a little trick to get the perfect straw in cup. It's called the two hand slap. Ah, you got it, you got it! Mm, the boba is perfectly chewy and even though I know that it was just cooked and came out, there's not like a warmth that overpowers the whole drink. And then the matcha drink itself has like citrusy notes. And then we have our peach lychee tea. There's also lychee and peach bits in here. I love that. This one is a very mild peachy tea. You definitely get like the fruitiness. On a hot day, this is perfect. Let's go for the house special. Stir it up since we have some salted cream foam on top. Mm. So I feel like this is an iced coffee drink that's a treat that I could actually enjoy because it's not a sugar bomb. And with the addition of the salted foam cream on top, I think it just balanced everything. So far, everything has been great here. And last but not least, we have the Hokkaido milk tea. Mm. It has a very nutty flavor and it's almost more milky than it is tea-like, but it almost reminds me of a little bit of like taro milk tea mixed with like coffee and hazelnut a little bit. It's roasty. But overall, I would say that the drinks are pretty solid and my favorite out of all of these would probably be the peach lychee tea followed by a close second iced hazelnut coffee. And now we are at Baco Tea House. From the website and the reviews, it seems to be the more sophisticated, elevated version of a boba tea shop. And we even have my food critic, sidekick, Kelly here to join me. The fact that they have all their loose leaf teas on display makes me feel like this is, they know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Like they specialize in tea. Do you notice that smell? It smells like a spa. It does. So we have our standard, regular, non-milky drink, our control drink. If they can make a good matcha, I feel like they're pretty solid. And we have two of their specialty drinks. One that they're really known for is this Phoenix Oolong one. And then this one is their seasonal one that has ice cream. It's a vanilla bean black tea ice cream drink, which is so unique for boba. I'm I've excited for this one. Like that. Honestly, it wasn't too sweet because there's real peach bits in there. Yes. And then the grass jelly. This one has grass jelly, which is my personal favorite. And I really appreciate that it was cut up small so you're not like sucking a big giant jelly in there. So this is our first drink with boba. And right off the bat, 
I really like how chewy it is. This is like gross, but I like it because it's like save it for later, you know? Like it's just something to keep doing. Like a chipmunk? <laughs> yes. I know this is good matcha because it's not masked by the milk. Yes. And I ordered this with oat milk because the tea rista said that it brings out more of the matcha flavor. And the matcha flavor is so earthy and I don't know. I feel like they did a really great job with this one. I've never had Phoenix Oolong before, so I'm really excited to try this one. Ooh. <laughs> Just like bum rushes you with floral notes. And then as you're eating or as you're chewing the boba, it becomes buttery. Another one that I have been waiting for is this almost like a tea affogato. Tafogato. Tea fogato. I'm kind of surprised this is the first time I'm trying one of these because it's such a like obvious pairing. But does it work? Mm. <laughs> I love the idea of it. <laughs> I know what you mean. But overall, I think they're classics. They nailed it. Clear winner for me is the peachy oolong tea. Now we are at our next stop. And according to Reddit, is regarded as the best boba in Orange County. With a line outside the door, almost every time I drive past it. And according to their website, they're anti-frozen, anti-pre-made, and anti-franchise. Let's ask people why they love this place so much and what makes it so popular. What is your name? Brian. Hi, what did you order today? I ordered an itchy peachy. Oh my gosh, do you come to Omomo often? Yeah. What do you like to order usually? Like the tornadoes. Is this your favorite boba shop in Orange County? Yes, the boba is really chewy and it just tastes really good. It is definitely probably the best in Orange County that I've been to. It's unique, you know, you don't find these flavors just anywhere, so. Yeah. I got the uh, Omomo matcha. I got the matcha cortada with cheese foam. Would you say this is your favorite boba shop in Orange County? Yes, it's just far for me, that's the only thing. It's my favorite, but the lines are usually long. I, pretty much, I've, I've seen this everywhere on social media, and it's like always like on TikTok, like always a must try. So people from SoCal like flock to this. So we have our drinks from Omomo. This is the Tornado Thai. That is the Matcha Cortado. We have our Peach Oolong, which is kind of our control comparison. This is the specialty drink. It's the Mango Tornado. Yes. Oh, I missed the center. <laughs> this standalone, it's good. I really like the sweetness of the boba. It's perfectly textured, very chewy, very bouncy. The matcha itself, I feel like is masked by the flavor of the cheese. It gets overshadowed, definitely. Nice technique. Oh, thank you, the two-hand slam. I really like the aloe. Yeah. It's such a fun consistency. I'm not love like chewing aloe. forever. It's unfair that we had Baco because that was such like high quality tea that I almost feel like this is the Snapple to that. <laughs> That's unfair to say because it is good. There's a very peach forward flavor that comes through. The aloe is kind of what makes it special to me at least. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, Zon. <laughs> Whoa, a lot going on there. <laughs> It's like a mango cream glossy. Yeah, yeah. It's so many very different like consistencies and textures. The boba is warm. The boba yes. is warm, but the mango is cold. Last but not least here is the camo Thai. From the photo on the website, it looks like it should be a lot more icy layers. We're gonna run into the same issue as the last one because at the bottom of the cup, it's very warm. That tastes like warm butterscotch warm. milkshake to me. Not my favorite. Mm -hmm. It's warm. Yes. The whole thing is warm. Really, really sweet. You're right. Butterscotch. Like Super butterscotch sweet. vanilla. I give it points for creativity. Boba shops are everywhere, right? How right. does a boba shop stand out? You can't help but applaud it for at least trying designing to, to look innovate. Yeah. yeah, trying to do something different. I'd like to thank Kelly for joining me on the last two boba excursions. Now, according to Reddit, Oro Bay is also the best boba shop in Orange County. It was a toss up between Omomo and Oro Bay and they're across the street from each other. So I had to come back and check it out. There's an air of mystery around Oro Bay. The lines are typically an hour long, similar to Omomo, but you're not allowed inside the store. They still have the COVID setup where the register is outside, there's a tent, and everything for the store is still kind of blacked out. So you have no idea how your drinks are being made. 
Who's in there? And what's inside your tea? It's 11.26. They open in four minutes and there's already a line. And the line just keeps getting longer and longer the more I talk, so I had to get in real quick. When you try the rest of your drinks later on, please make sure that they're tasting absolutely perfect for you. If you need any adjustments whatsoever, we're gonna take care of it. Okay, okay thank you so much. All right, their customer service was outstanding. I got two of their most popular, one of them being the Rising Phoenix, same one that we tried at Baco, and a peach oolong. Mm. You know like how when you leave a tea bag in the cup for way too long and it just becomes way too brewed? I wouldn't say that this is way too brewed, but the tea is very, very prominent and the peach is very mellow. I'm spilling the tea for your boba tea. Okay, now this one is the Metal Buddha Milk Tea. I'm not really sure what Metal Buddha is, but it's one of their best sellers. Oh, wrong way. Mm. The boba is perfectly sweetened. It has a nice chew to it. It almost tasted like a very nutty, roasty coffee mix tea. I got it at 25% sweetness. To me, that's like the perfect amount of sweetness for every single drink. So this Rising Phoenix looks a lot different than Baco's. The other one, I remember it tasting a little bit more butterscotchy. Mm. I get jasmine milk tea. It's not as buttery as the other one. Between the Rising Phoenix and the Metal Buddha, I personally like the Metal Buddha a lot more. Tropical Sunrise Green Tea. And this time I tried it with an agar pearl, which I've never had before. They described it as a crystal jelly. Mm. I don't like the crystal pearl. I don't like this drink either. Um, okay, where do I start? You know like when your boba gets a little hard? It's like that. And there's not a good flavor to it. It's just more like synthetic tasting. The flavor of the tea also tastes synthetic. Even though I know they use like freshly brewed tea, they say they get from Taiwan. This just isn't my favorite. Get the Metal Buddha followed by the Rising Phoenix. And the peach oolong one is not bad either. So there's a lot of hype behind this place and Omomo and people tend to wait in line. Even the guy that stood behind us said there's usually a line longer than here that wraps around and this is the shortest you'll ever see the line, which kind of amazes me because I feel like these two stores cater to the locals and there's a lot of like people living around here. And I think that it's just a convenient place for them to grab boba. Is it the best one I've ever had? I'm not sure. And now we are at our next destination called Fengcha in Costa Mesa. Now, as I mentioned before, that boba tends to span across all ages from young to old. So I brought my whole family with me and today we're gonna try some of their more popular items. So let's go. Okay, so we have our control drinks here. The peach oolong and a matcha latte with matcha milk foam and bobas. I think somebody really wants to try the cake first. Boba cake. And look, we have our strawberry cake. That looks so good. Tastes like a boba. Boba. And do you like your strawberry cake? 11 out of 10. 11 out of 10, that is a record. 10 out of 10. Perfect. Perfect. Mm, 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. Why not 10 out of 10? I think that's a great I, I can get. Matcha. So this is like a more milky matcha. It's on the sweet side. Now we have the peach oolong and I got aloe vera jelly. It's super peachy. I love it. And then the aloe vera provides like the crunchy bits in there. Now let's try this dirty boba. Holy cow, this is good. I always see those like videos of brown sugar boba, like you know the type that's like been really iconic with the ice cream even. And this is exactly what you would imagine it to taste like, kind of burntish, but in like the best way. It has those like caramelized notes and it's not too sweet, which I really like. Finally, we have another one called Strawberry Overload. With this one, I got it with grass jelly huge strawberry bits in here that are fresh paired with the grass jelly. It's just like a very light, delicious dessert on a very hot day. I would say the two standout drinks and my favorites are the dirty boba and the strawberry overload. Let's see what the young and old have to say. Uh, 12 out of 10. I like this the, the best. Why? Grass jelly uh -huh. is very soft but, but still um, chewy, 10 out of 10. The clear winner here is the strawberry overload. So all in all, if you're looking for boba tea in Orange County, there's 
really a never-ending supply. Every place is good because they really have to up their game to compete with each other. Now, which one was my favorite? I'd have to say that it was Baco Tea House, not just for their simplicity, but just for the concentration of the tea flavor in every drink. I thought they did such an amazing job, but all of the other ones like Omomo, Orobe, they have their own uniqueness about them that I can see why there's a cult following. Now, just to prove my point, I just found this place yesterday, Rooster Tea House, and it's also freaking amazing. You, like I said, every single place in Orange County, boba tea wise, they have to up their game to stay in business. So let me show you this one. Hi, can I just get the classic? And I will say that the best way to know if a boba tea shop is any good is that if they can make a classic milk tea good, chances are the other drinks are gonna be solid. Even this pokey shop has boba. Apparently, Jack in the Box now also has boba, so of course I have to try. Hi, can I get your bobas? I already have boba anymore. <gasps> you don't have it anymore? No, I don't. Oh man. Yeah. I'm all because I heard it was actually not bad. An insider told me that they use the base for their coffee and the boba was um, the milkshake mix. 